subsequent lesson, we're going to be going over different exercises or different songs. But today, in this session, we're just going to go over the practical aspects of the instrument itself. How do the buttons operate the different uh, reeds? How does the keyboard work? How does the air get in from the bellows? That kind of thing. So I'm going to be going at my harmonium with my screwdriver. And you can follow along if you want, or just uh, watch me do it to mine. So we're going to lift it open and get a, a good look at the guts inside so that we can see all the inner workings, which is great to know about in case you have to conduct any sort of repair or fix on your instrument, but also just to have a sense for how the air is moving through the instrument and how that, the sound is actually being produced will help you to feel a little bit more connected with your instrument as you're playing. So come on over and let's dive into the box. Okay, so first I'm going to take off this front wooden strip. Beneath this strip, there's a pair of hinges that you'll see the box hinge forward on. So th and we're in. Alright, so let's talk about what the different pieces that we're looking at do. So first off, back here, we've got the bellows. Different harmoniums have different amounts of folds. This is called a three-fold bellow. One, two, three. And, let's see, on the back of the bellow, there's these leather flaps with air vents. So as you pump the bellow, it drinks in air from the very back, and those leather flaps prevent air from escaping. So it only takes in air from the back. And then as you pump, you're forcing air down through this angled slot, forcing air down into the lower box. So beneath this tray, there's actually you know, a second box which is a big lung, a big ballast, and it gets filled with air pressure. So taking off one of the springs and putting it over its neighbor. And then those three will automatically be down. You can do that to set a group of them like that. 